you sleep shit. You know that you could be sleeping better. The thing is though, the reason you aren't sleeping better is because you don't have a good enough reason to get to sleep on time. You don't have a good enough reason to resist scrolling on YouTube or watching Netflix in bed until 3am. But you know, I used to be the same. I remember I used to always like kind of show off to my family. I'd be like, oh, Jackson's going to bed early tonight, you know. And then when I'd actually get into bed, I'd do something stupid. Like I'd check the time on my phone. I'd check my messages on my phone. And then before I knew it, I was scrolling on YouTube or TikTok or watching some stupid Netflix show until 3am. And then I'd wake up the next morning. Oh, not even the next morning. The next afternoon. And I'd still be dead tired. But then I actually found a reason that made me want to sleep better. You know, I was really getting into fingerstyle and I wanted to improve as fast as possible. Like you might want to. And so instead of telling yourself that you need to sleep more, because scientists say so, because they say you need to get eight hours of sleep, ask yourself what having, or ask yourself what better sleep would do for you. How will it improve your life? Will it, and then actually research the answer to that. You know, will it make you focus better at work? Most definitely. Will it make you less stressed? Most definitely. And then how will performing better at work and being less stressed overall in your life benefit you really research that and actually find a reason on why you need to get more sleep and so for me what really changed everything was i just well one of the, about the three ways that sleep could make my guitar better realistically and so i want to share the information that helped me sleep better and it relates to guitar so the three main ways that sleep will maximize your guitar learning and maximize mine is that it turns your short-term muscle, muscle memory into long-term memory strengthens the signals that your brain sends to your hands to play correctly, and then it reduces overall fatigue, which doesn't just benefit guitar, but literally everything else that you do in life. And so, the number one thing that sleep will do for your guitar playing, it locks in your muscle memory. And so it turns your short-term muscle memory into your long-term memories. And so, you have your short-term memory, it's really short. Let's go lecture mode. 15 to 30 seconds. Think of it as RAM like your computer RAM. You can only store so much stuff in there, like eight to 16 gigabytes, right? And now, the closer you get to filling that up, the harder it's going to be to remember everything that you've learned in that same day, right? But here's where sleep comes in. What sleep does, moves the RAM into the cloud storage or like the hard drive storage, you know, H, D. And so that means the guitar playing movements that were stored in your short-term memory and taken up all that space are now in the hard drive. And suddenly, short-term memory is free again, thanks to sleep. And then you get to use that short-term memory space again to either learn more stuff or focus on refining that song that you learned. Now, my last video, it was on how do you sleep optimally for learning guitar as fast as possible. And so if you watched that, you might have a question now, which I'm gonna answer. And if you haven't, here's a quick summary of the video so you don't need to go watch it. So sleep is the most important thing you can do and so to use it in the most optimal way to learn guitar, you want to do one block of guitar learning equals one song. Damn, we're messy, right? But the reason you want to do this is because if you, were, if you were to do a second block of guitar learning in the same day, your brain is better at, ex at storing unique experiences. And because one song is so unique to the second song that you're practicing, your brain is able to store that much better. It's like, essentially, you have your original RAM, which you've just got one song in here. And then, when you do a second song, second, you get a whole nother set of RAM, because it's so unique to each other, and then you get to fill up this number 16 gigabytes, right? And then that just gets added to your cloud storage after you sleep, for free. So, essentially, you're going to learn more by practicing two songs across two blocks, rather than just doing one song across two blocks because they're unique and your brain remembers that better. So, number two, sleep strengthens synapses. And so imagine that you're playing a part of a song that you've just started learning. You're playing super slow and you really gotta think about what comes next. You know that if you speed up, like even the tiniest bit, your brain won't be able to catch up to your hands and then you'll forget what to play next and you mess up. That's because of synapses, or rather an undeveloped synapse connection. Now, okay, bear with me here. Synapses are what send info to the brain. And so when you learn anything at all, your brain creates connections between brain cells using synapses. 
Now imagine that you're building a road. You're laying down your first layer of gravel. It's gonna look something like this. It's pretty bumpy, didn't lay it that well, just how it goes, right? And at first, you know, it's super loose, unstable, bumpy as, which means that when you have a car and you're going over it, you gotta drive super slowly, right? But as you drive over it, more and more, the gravel starts to compress a little bit. You know, it's become suddenly less bumpy. And that means you can drive faster and faster. And then this road is the connection of synapses from your brain to your hands. And so when you first start practicing, your connections are loose and unstable. And so you really got to think about what to play and what comes next. But as you keep practicing, your connections become stronger and stronger and more stable. And then you slowly start speeding up. And this is where sleep comes in. Sleep is just like a steamroller. You have your spiky gravel, that's poor gravel. You got your spiky gravel, and then you got your steamroller that just comes in and it just completely flattens it like this. You still got a tiny few bumps, a bit more practice and a bit more sleep, and it'll be completely flat. The reason this happens is because of the way sleep works. So when you sleep, you replay the memories of what's happened during the day in your head. And that's just like running a bunch of cars up and down that road non-stop while you sleep. And then it just compounds into like this massive steamroller. It's gonna strengthen your roads, make them easy to drive on. It means it's easy to play. It also removes the weak and unused roads that you haven't driven down in a while, that you, know have, that you no longer have much use for. And then because of that, there's less roads to run on and you're able to play more efficiently. And that means your ability to remember what you've learned like chords, how the song goes, progressions, scales, blah, blah, blah. Your ability to pay attention to what you're playing and your ability to make decisions on which notes to play, if you can't remember in time, will be much better because of the increased efficiency. Okay, number three, sleep reduces fatigue. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? You've heard that a million times. Being well rested will mean that you'll play better. You're less likely to feel stressed, less likely to feel anxious, and because of that, you'll be able to focus better. You'll be able to concentrate better. When you're less stressed, you just have that weight come off your shoulders. And because of that, you're able to dedicate more to guitar. And I feel like that's kind of self-explanatory and you've heard that a billion times. So I'm not gonna go into that. And so now that I've gone over why you need to improve your sleep, I think it'd be pretty shit if I didn't go over how you can actually do that. So these are the results. These tips are the results of all the research that I've done over tens of hours. And I've listened to tons of podcasts, especially a bunch of it, Andrew Huberman, Link his podcast below. I really recommend if you want to learn more. Keep your going to sleep time, the actual time you're closing your eyes, turning off all distractions and trying to sleep and you're waking up time, the exact same. Even on weekends. If you're waking up at 7 a.m. to get to work, Monday to Friday, try and wake up at 7 a.m. on the weekends as well. See, the important thing here is to understand that not all sleep hours are actually the same. It's better to stick to the same sort of window of sleep because your body has regulated to that rhythm. And because of that, you're able to get more quality sleep because at that time period, your body is more able to actually get into good sleep, deep sleep, and restore itself. And so essentially, keep your sleep window the same as best as you can. And obviously, like you won't be able to do it 100% of the time. That's fine. I aim for about 90%. And so I think that's, I think that's something achievable for everyone. The second most important tip is to get 10 to 20 minutes of sunshine straight after you wake up. What the, sun, what the sunlight does is it sets your circadian rhythm and that essentially sets your sleep cycle and it'll make it easier for you to fall asleep at night because your brain's seeing the sunlight and it realizes that, oh, 12 to, 15, 12 to 16, oh, 12 to 16 hours later, I should be getting tired. And so if you wake up before the sun comes up, invest in a sunlight mimicking lamp. And so what those are is they just mimic the light of the sun using UV, using UV rays. And so you wanna get one that at minimum is 10,000 lux, use that instead of going out in the sun. And you heard this one a million times, aim for eight hours of sleep. Another one you probably heard a million times, don't sleep with devices in your room. If you know that you're prone to scrolling on Netflix, or you don't scroll on Netflix, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, scrolling on TikTok, like I used to be, don't put your devices in your room. Put them in another room. And what I do to wake up, I have my phone connected to a speaker and it plays the alarm through the speaker so that even when I get up to turn off the speaker, I cannot touch my phone because it's not in the same room as me and therefore I can't mess around and go on it straight after I wake up. Makes it a lot easier to get out of bed. 
Then, another tip. Keep your room cool. Because, generally, you need to drop your body temperature by 1 to 3 degrees Celsius to actually fall into sleep. So keep your room cool. And then keeping it dark and quiet is also essential. Get blackout blinds if you can. Though, there's tons of budget options as well. You can get garbage bags, tape them to your window. I use cardboard personally. Just cuts them out, stick it up against the windows. Make it looks like makes it look like I'm cooking crack in my rooms, but blocks out the light. So that's all that matters to me. And then, don't drink caffeine within 10 hours of going to sleep. What caffeine does is it blocks the hormone in your brain that actually makes you feel sleepy. And because of that, your brain won't want to go to sleep if you have caffeine too close to bed. And then another thing to avoid just in general is alcohol. I'm sure you heard that a bunch of times. And so when I say avoid caffeine, avoid alcohol, it doesn't mean to quit them both completely. Well, actually, you probably should quit alcohol because it is a toxin that causes cellular damage, but for caffeine at least, make it something to treat yourself with. Okay, now, sum everything up. Three main ways that sleeping improves your guitar skills. Sleep consolidates your short-term memory into your long-term memory. Practicing guitar fills up your short-term memory, and then your sleep moves it to long-term storage, freeing up all the short-term memory to focus on learning more or refining what you already know. And then, sleep strengthens the neural connections, called synapses, that send signals to your, or from your brain to your hands when you're playing guitar. And so, think of it as the gravel road becoming more solid. The more you do it, the more solid it becomes. The easier to drive, the faster you can go. And then sleep is going to reinforce all those connections because it's like a steamroller going over that road so you can play faster and more accurately. And then being well rested means you have less fatigue. And because of that, you can focus and concentrate better when you're not tired. And then I hope that by watching this video, it's actually given you more of a reason to sleep better. Even if it's just like you're sleeping an extra half an hour every night or even it's just an extra five minutes every night. Because if you stack that up, if you sleep five minutes more every single day for like 20 days, you're suddenly sleeping for another 100 extra minutes, which is like an hour and a half, okay? And so I really do hope this helped you sleep better because it helped, that information really helped me sleep better. And it'll make your guitar skills crazy, right? And so trust me on that or you know, at least check back in like a month or check back in a few months and you'll be able to see the progress that I've made. And it's because I've been sleeping consistently. Okay, you got it. Now, Go practice. Or actually, just, just go sleep instead.